We are going to be making a mess today. We are officially starting work on this. We are got two windows to it put in here. That one is getting replaced because it's completely destroyed. So we have two new ones here. One's gonna go where this old door was, and then one's gonna go right there. If you missed our older video where we took out this door and we redid a bunch of the interior stuff, I'll leave that link down in the description and you guys can go check that video out. But it is super windy as you guys can tell, so we're gonna try our best with the audio here. Uh, but bear with us because we're in Oklahoma and it's windy season. So I'm gonna get started. We gotta rip off all of the old siding. There's actually two layers of siding on here. They have the old cedar paneling and then this cement board that someone else added. So we're gonna rip off both of that. We're actually going to use the siding off of this that is still good for our tiny house that we're gonna be building in the next couple of months. So stay tuned for that. My dad got here, he went to Home Depot and bought all the stuff for us. And it was dirt cheap, you guys. I have not had a Home Depot run under $100. This one was 104, but we got six sheets of OSB, drywall, the house wrap. Is that it, those three That's things? It. For $104. He said that the OSB was like $7 a sheet, which is crazy because a year ago today, it was probably $45 or $50 a sheet. So it's the only cheap thing right now. So if you guys want to build something, go buy some OSB. I love how you say that, but we were at Home Depot this week and we scored at Home Depot. Oh, they don't know about that yet though. But we scored at Home Depot this week. <laughs> yes, too. we did. Actually, we did have two scores at Home Depot. That's why we like Home Depot more than Lowe's because Lowe's, we never get deals. <laughs> this is the inside view. That window's getting replaced with a new one. And then we're going to be adding one right here. Look at all these ladybugs. Now, are those the Japanese beetles or are those ladybugs? You guys tell me, because somebody said that they were Japanese beetles, which are really invasive. Is there more yep. ladybugs? Yeah. I got oh yeah, there's a couple scattered there. up here on all, all across. That's insane. <laughs> We have a friend joining us. He just climbed onto the siding. Anybody know what kind of lizard that is? Hey. Oh, you tickle. <laughs> Maybe it's a gecko. Trying to, he's trying to fix it. So all summer we had a problem with mud daubers in the house and we had no idea how they were getting in. Well, I think I know why we had the problem. And all they had to do was find a tiny little hole to get into the house because the whole entire wall is completely covered in them. But we're making some really good progress. We have to rip off all of this old siding. We're running to do this right. So we're gonna go all the way back to the studs from the outside and then build our way back out just like we did on the inside. Hopefully it won't take too much longer. We'll be able to get this ripped off and then we'll start building the frame for the window. Good thing we're not leaving that as the exterior. I don't think it lasts much longer. Oh. We're actually gonna save a bunch of this wood, whatever is like good enough. And we're gonna end up using it, I think for like accent walls maybe, or maybe building some furniture, something out of it. I wanna try and repurpose as much of it as we can. We'll see if that actually happens, but I think we should be able to. It's cedar. I think it's cedar, that doesn't look like cedar. Yeah, it is. I think so, what about the plywood? That's just regular dug fur, it looks like to me. So maybe regular plywood, but then cedar strips. But like I said, we're gonna keep it. We'll use it to make goat houses, chicken houses, or just something in the house. You guys know we have a termite problem. This, this is all old termite tubes, I guess, um, where they would climb. So this dirt used to go all the way to here and I pulled it away a little bit after we moved in because we were having flooding issues. But this is clearly, there was enough moisture for the termites to climb out of the ground, through the concrete and then up into the house. So while we're getting rid of that, we're gonna rip off this foam here as well. That looks like my dog. We gotta add insulation back up. So it actually looks like the termite ants were living in the foam in between the walls. And I did just see some ants here. I don't know if they're carpenter ants. You guys let us know if they're carpenter ants. Because if they're carpenter ants, 
You got some big issues. But look at the termite trail. All through this. Come back and get this. Oh my wow. goodness. Well, that one has keys there. What the heck? Ever. What are those? Paper wasps? Hi! Those just look like regular wasps. And look, they're coming right in this corner. Well, that's going out. Yeah, glad we're actually getting rid of all that. It's coming together. So, because we've had the termite issues, we bought termite spray that basically every time we open up a wall, we're spraying it. So, we're going to spray this like crazy, spray it for carpenter ants as well. And hopefully, that will continue to get rid of our problem. And then, like I've said before, once we get the project completely finished, then we're going to have a company come in, dig the trench, and do the actual full-on termite um, prevention stuff, I guess. And then hopefully we should never have termites again. Soak it down. We're taking a break. Mama's making some pizza bagels. Maverick, did you wake up from your nap? No, we didn't. No, I think you did. How did you sleep? Good. Good? Oh, you want some cheese? Yeah. We're just about to go out there and get the window put in. We're getting ready for the first window. We've got the hole all ready. So dad's gonna open it up and then uh, I'll go get the, we need the flashing tape and all of that to get it all cleaned up first. Okay, we're gonna put the window in. We're gonna double check to make sure everything fits and then we're gonna do the waterproofing. <laughs> Look at that. Uh. <laughs> I forgot, we bought windows that were shorter. I thought they were the exact same size as the last one. But, but I guess not. not. Pre I'm gonna have to go ask her. <laughs> I gotta ask her if she wants it up or if she wants it down. Yeah. Do you want a skylight at the top? Yeah, we can leave it. Like, like Fresh bird air. Entry. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh dang it! Well, the side looks good. Does it fill in the side? Yeah, here? it's so it covers that yeah. up. Then lift it up a bit and let's see what it's like. I'd say go up. But... It'll depend on the inside, like what oh, it looks yeah. like from the inside. All I'll right, just, let's. I'll just hold it. Let's pull it down. Take it out. Or, yeah, I'm gonna go ask Mars if she wants to look at All right, y'all, let's go see what she says. Mars, we need your opinion. You don't look busy. Can you come help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good thing we have my mom here to help us, you guys. Oh, okay. But Mars, you're a dang good mom killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> Can I take him with me? Yeah. We just, I forgot the windows are smaller than the old ones, like height wise. Yeah. So we have to decide if they want to go up or down. I can already tell you that. Okay, which they one is it? They go up because we want to be able to put things under the windows. All right, cool. Be as you were. <laughs> Wait, is that... Should I double check that? You can. Come on. What if I want to go halfway? Down. That is not an option. It's either what all the way up or all the way down. <laughs> but I agree. I think it's... Uh, oh, Zan. Zan's going to probably try and jump through the window. Oh. Okay, what yeah. do you think? I think we go up then, yeah. We go up because we wanted, that's why we got smaller windows, is so that we can use this space under the okay. window. All right. Because for Maverick, like, you have to remember if the window's there, like his play stuff. Yeah, the higher the better. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to get back to work then and rebuild that. Gosh dang it. Pop on Maverick playing with Zan. Look, he has one window up. Looks super good. Mav's over there playing. There's We're running out of daylight, but it should go pretty quick. We can just cut all this out and then uh, be good to go.
So yesterday, Crandall spent like most of the day working on the yard, cleaning it up. Well, nothing ever lasts long here, as you can tell. Oh yeah, and there's the side of our house. That looks like it could hurt. <laughs> I was like, Colonel, that is not a smart idea. Nice to work together where you just pretty much know what each other's thinking. And if only we happen. had two hammers. Yeah. <laughs> Do we not? No, Dad broke the other hammer. Do we not have three hammers? No. Because we, I think, Steve, I think we've Everybody already broke. Plug your ears. I have to move back. I can only plug one ear. One more, he says. I'll plug the other ear so then they'll sound the same. You need to be deaf at both ears. What about your ears, Crandall? It's not loud if you're the person doing it. I don't think that's how it works. No? Not at all. I call, I call BS on that one. So the thing is, is this is what it looks like on the inside. We messed up enough on the other one that we kind of know what we're doing this time. Well, that makes me feel great. Wow, this is nice. You guys already have the header. I know. Well, and the door was already here, so since we're replacing it with the window, it's not. It's not that too difficult. bad. Yeah. Your dad's like that's not true. Put a hole in there. I'm so sorry. Well, Brand new hole. You get away with it. If it was any other wall in the I house. I guess we'll forgive you. That's Since what you get for, for free. cheap labor. <laughs> <laughs> well, this wall ain't going anywhere. It's got 15 two foot floors holding it up. <laughs> I don't know uh, if Crandall's told you, but I think the plan is to brick the bottom half of this and then do wainscoting, which kind of looks like the two by fours, but with stuff under it. Ready? on the upper half and that will wrap around the front part of the house too are these windows uv protected sure no it looks like they have the see how they're tinted blue yeah, a little bit <laughs> they're pretty much what the, the cheapest windows you can get so i kind of doubt it but they might be u factor <laughs> solar heat gain visible i don't know maybe you guys can tell us all the time Oh! I hope not. Alright. Alright, you're gonna open We have a window seal. It does make this side of the house look so much better. Really? Yeah. No, I'm tempted to do one on the front. Tempted to do a fake window on the front just because it'll look good. Over the top. Just man. jump! I can still do it! <laughs> And then my way. Right there. That's better. We fixed it. Good. Yep. Ow! That was really loud. I don't know why that one was so loud. <laughs> so, Crandall, should this keep our house warm? Yes. Why didn't we replace all the insulation? We didn't need to. <laughs> Guys, that looks a little moldy to me. No, it's just old. So it's almost dark, but we're all outside. So Crandall said I could let the mama out with her ducks, but they might have all turned in for the night. Oh, hi, Jules. How do you gather them up? They'll just come back in. Oh. So the mom, she does really well of getting them to go where she wants them to go. Oh. It's, um, night almost dark and here it is oh the window's not quite in what the heck i have the wrong staples i don't even know if i have any of those it's never easy we're so close i hate to say this but i think this is the third day in a row crandall's wore that shirt i am just about to get dinner ready but they looks like they are almost done guys i have waited so long for this. This looks so good. I mean, look at that. Look at that. 
They match. They match. I'm even more excited for tomorrow when the sun is out and you can see what it looks like. But the problem is, is I think this video comes out tomorrow morning. So Kendall's like panicking trying to get it done um, tonight while it's dark. So you guys can see it in the morning, which means you guys don't get to see it with the sun coming through the room, which is a bummer. I told Crandall to quadruple check it. Yep. Here it goes. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. Beautiful sunrise this morning. I know Marcy said you guys are going to have to wait to see the finished product, but I haven't seen the finished product yet, so I figured we'll wait a little bit to post the video, just a couple of hours, so that we can show you guys the finished product and you don't have to wait till the next video. So, here it is. I think it looks really good, but it also doesn't look like much because we don't have new siding up. But it is significantly better than what was there. Like you guys saw, we had tons of holes through the walls. We had no insulation. We still have to finish the insulation and the sheetrock on the inside, which I'm going to get to this morning. But the outside is completely sealed off, and I am beyond excited about it. It looks so good. And once we add siding, add brick, whatever we're going to do, I just... I cannot wait, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're excited to have the back side of the couch where we can start building Maverick's toy area and uh, get some more projects done on the house. I do have something really exciting to show you guys. Let's go check it out. As you guys know, we had baby ducks and they're doing good, but we've also been keeping you guys updated on our baby chicks. And look what we woke up to this morning. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that chick is starting to hatch. And that chick is starting to hatch. So we're gonna have baby chicks here in a couple of hours. So stay tuned for a video about that. That's gonna be coming out really soon because, well, they're finally hatching. So we've got a lot more projects we're gonna get done. We've got some exciting stuff here, more stuff on the laundry room. I'm gonna be getting this done today. So stay tuned for all of these crazy updates. We're making some major progress, which just feels so good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.